what's up guys so I keep forgetting my camera in lots of places so it's getting a little difficult with that vlog life videos are chaotic because my mind can't stop like I normally can make pre my pretty decent videos when like I'm in the clear headspace and that's where I'm actually talking about something that you guys want to hear about it's very informational blah 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 when I'm in this kind of headspace it is very very hard for me so I'm gonna give you guys a little update as to why this is all going on so number one thing on Marissa's brain is my grandpa is legitimately passing away. He's definitely on his last little season of life. And it's really hard. I'm not gonna get emotional in this video because I'm not allowing myself to get too emotional yet because if I can get emotional, it means I still have time to see him because he is still here. I just, it's hard to see a family member suffer like that. So, he is doing pretty bad. He just basically didn't take care of himself his whole life. And he was, it was a big wake up call for me and my family because, or my family and I, because we can all be hermits that get stuck at home, get stuck at our desk, get stuck at whatever it is that we're doing. We can be super stubborn and never ask for help. Um, we can all just kind of get a little stuck. and. He just got stuck for a really, really long time and he ended up just like not taking care of his health whatsoever. So um, his health just went down very fast and now he's on a breathing tube, he can't walk, he can talk, but it's very all over the place and it's just hard. So I have been spending a lot of time with my grandpa and just processing all of that because it was a big transition in life when you're about to lose a family member because it's a whole like readjusting thing you guys have to it definitely hits families I'm sure you guys have felt that once or more times so that's really a big one two is we are property hunting for so long we basically have not been able to find a ranch that has water that has electricity that has a living space that isn't either crazy expensive or decently priced but just no water or any of the necessities so it's really hard to find what we're looking for in california especially los angeles <sighs> so we decided that we're gonna just stay on the property that we're at because honestly it is such a beautiful property and we decided that we're just gonna stay there Amelia in the back we're just gonna stay there and um, redo the whole entire property because basically basically this business went from just training horses 
horses and having people come and leave their horses for a training facility. So we weren't going for like the crazy beautiful look. We're just going for like what colts can be in and like what colts won't completely destroy. Colts are our big horses. And then all of a sudden we started doing actual human lessons and humans and horses are two completely different creatures. So we need like actual barns office um, just trees just all the beauty that comes with a ranch so we're gonna do that so what we ended up doing instead is getting this little house it's a decent sized house in Fillmore and um, it's like literally five to seven minutes away from the ranch it makes it super easy and convenient but if you've ever been to Fillmore there is not much so we are building a at-home gym like a decent really nice one in the garage so that makes me super excited because that means for you guys your girl is gonna have a full gym set up to do my workout videos and not have to deal with filming in front of people you guys know like my biggest fear <laughs> it is not I am so shy, okay? Like, ridiculously shy. I know people don't expect that for some reason, but I am. I'm just utterly shy. So, um, I'm just super shy. So, recording in front of people is just not my favorite thing. So, with this new gym in the garage, and I'm going to just get all of my favorite machine slash equipment that are the only things I use so it'll be super easy for me because I am struggling when it comes to not working out honestly I feel like I needed isolation from Los Angeles so Fillmore is Ventura County um Santa Clarita is Los Angeles County so it's like really close together and basically um I just feel like I needed a break from living in the center of Los Angeles, basically. Like, there just needs to be this energy cleanse. There needs to be this, like, just my, like, mind needs to get clear. And Los Angeles has a very heavy energy to it. And sometimes you just, like, need to get a little bit away from it and isolate yourselves from it. Because, honestly, in Los Angeles, you are so, 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 so spoiled opposed to the rest of the world. Like, I don't even know what it's like to cook anymore because, honestly... We get everything postmated, everything delivered, everything, everything. Like, I never have to leave the house. And it's made me just such a, like, so much more of a hermit type of personality. So I have, like, a hard time going to the gym. And, like, I just, ugh, I feel like this is going to be great. And, like, the house is big and spacious. And, like, the ranch is going to be redone. And it's going to be, like, an actual functioning facility. So a lot of stuff is happening. Like literally, I think we're getting the keys in two weeks. And um, <laughs> my life is just changing. So that's number two. Number three, um, I'm definitely going through like another depression spell. I don't think it's a full on depression. I just think it's um, a semi one. I don't know what to call it but it's really rough there's a lot of days it's getting hard for me to leave the house again because I just feel so the only way I can describe my depression is it feels like there's 10 pounds attached to each of my ankles and my wrists and every single time I go to walk every single time I go to do something there's just this tremendous weight pulling me down and pulling me down and it's just it's really brutal so that's just what it is right now and I don't like even just me talking about it my mind just like kind of drifted because like I just my mind doesn't want to talk about it. my mind doesn't want to face reality that I am going through I haven't been able to read books which definitely like is a big signal that I'm having a hard time because if I'm like stuck in like tv shows and that type of stuff it just it means that my brain is trying to escape myself at all times and that's mainly like why it's really hard to watch videos because when 
you're when you suffer from depression and you suffer from like yourself like the last thing you want to do is just watch footage of yourself and edit yourself so it definitely takes me away from youtube this depression and it really sucks because i love youtube like i literally love going over and watching my old videos and just like seeing like the side of me that i can be and seeing the side of my life that i love and just like reminding myself so like honestly my youtube channel helps like my own depression because i see that like i do have another part of me that pushes through and has a great time so i can feel myself trying to escape it do i know when it will fully leave i have no idea i also think it has a lot to do with a family member being very close to passing away and he's like my grandpa was a very harsh person a very hard person but he always was a character in my life i don't know my life without him I don't know holidays without him. I don't know anything without him. And even though he was like an asshole, it's like, if I ever really need something, he was like the one that came through. Uh, that's hard. <sighs> And every single time I make a video, this is what happens. So. This is why I've been a little absent, guys. It's hard. It's a hard little chapter of my life right now that I wasn't anticipating. We really didn't anticipate for him to get this sick. We didn't expect it to be happening this fast. I didn't anticipate for my life to be this fast, so just having a hard time adjusting. It's like until I'm adjusted, I don't know how to talk or how to be myself, if that makes sense. But it was my 24th birthday yesterday, officially part of the 24 club, and I just really hope this year I really hope I watch this in a year from now. And I'm proud of how far I've come. I really hope this year I hold myself accountable. I realize I'm the only one that can save myself. Bye guys.